This might be the most important Pepe video you watch all day. So make sure to stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to be giving you some important catalysts that I believe could take Pepe to the top of the meme coin space, as well as an update on the potential Pepe slash Coinbase listing that a lot of people are expecting to see here in 2023. Do we have some changes? I'll talk about that at the very end of the video, guys. If you're part of the Pepe community, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more Pepe content. Seriously, subscribe if you want more Pepe content, guys. And also let me know your thoughts in this video. But Pepe Coin, about to hit 300,000 followers on Twitter, guys. Pepe Coin is currently sitting at a $455 million market cap, which if you look at other meme coins, you know we cover a lot of meme coins on this channel, guys. If you look at other meme coins, Pepe is actually consolidating very, very nicely in this $400 plus million range. It's been sitting around 600 to 400 million. Obviously, the news with the SEC suing Binance and Coinbase did not help any meme coins, and Pepe was included in that. But I want to talk about some very, very positive statistics and catalysts that I believe could help Pepe get its next leg up. First off, guys, Pepe has 117,000 holders, which I think is a monumental uh, milestone and should be celebrated. This token is less than six weeks old. It launched on April 14th. Uh, we're coming in to the, almost that two-month range here, so a little over six weeks old, excuse me, almost two months old for Pepe. 117,000 holders, $455 million mark cap, which is insane, guys. But what I really want to talk about here is the big exchanges that are buying this token. Now, as you guys know, usually when the price goes up, people like to buy. Usually when the price goes down, people like to sell. I don't know why that happens. It's psychology. But guess who is not taking those steps? Those are the major exchanges. So typically, when the price goes up, the exchanges like to sell. Typically, when the price goes down, the exchanges, the big exchanges, centralized exchanges, like to buy cheap tokens. And in this case, they like to buy cheap Pepe. Now, follow the money, guys. We have some new holders in the top five. So Binance, uh, who was recently sued by the SEC, holds $90 million of Pepe at the current rate, around 20%. I don't know whose wallet this is. I think this is the multi-sig wallet. OKX is in the number three spot, a top exchange. KuCoin, number four, top exchange. Crypto.com, top exchange. Binance actually owns more. Gate.io, MEXC, Bybit, Huobi, and Peribu all top centralized exchanges rounding out the top 16. If you watch these wallets, guys, you can see every time that there's a dip on Pepe, they're accumulating more, they're buying more, and they're adding to their positions. What does this mean as an investor? Well, for me, I like to use reverse psychology. When the markets go down, I like to buy. When the markets go up, I like to take profits and sell. I'm actually following the strategy of these exchanges. As Pepe continues to dip, guys, I continue to add more to my position because I do believe this token will flip Shiba Inu and will flip Dogecoin in the next cycle. Let me know in the comments, guys. Just say yes or no. Do you think that Pepe will flip Shiba Inu or will flip Dogecoin during the next cycle? But I'm following the smart money. And in this case, the smart money tends to be the exchanges. The smart money does tend to be the whales as well. Another reason that I'm so bullish on Pepe, guys, is that you can literally buy this token everywhere except Coinbase. And I'll provide an update on Coinbase in just a second. You can buy Pepe on Binance, Qcoin, Kraken, uh, BitThumb, Gemini, OKX, Huobi, Bybit, Gate.io, Poloniex, BitGet, Elbank, MEXC, Bitvado, Femex, Coin. You can buy this token on about 70 plus centralized exchanges and another 10 or 15 decentralized exchanges. If you've been following my channel, guys, you understand I believe in something called the exchange effect. The more tokens and exchanges listed on, the more people that have the chance to buy it. Not everybody can use Uniswap, MetaMask, et cetera. It's a little bit confusing for the average user. So the fact that Pepe, is listed on all these exchanges is one of the most bullish things we've seen. Now, I promised you an update on Coinbase. I have it here. Uh, here's a little funny meme, Pepe with like the jock, the jock uh, sniffer with the Coinbase logo, guys. But as you know, Watcher Guru reported it first. The SEC has sued Coinbase, citing the exchange is acting as an unregistered broker. Now, you can see that other states sued Coinbase as well. Uh, and Brian Armstrong, the CEO, said that they will get the job done, quote unquote, in court against the SEC. What does this mean for Pepe? Look, I honestly was bullish. I thought that Coinbase would list Pepe sometime in 2023. I think it's still a possibility, but obviously, guys, Coinbase has a lot on their hands with the SEC suing them, with 10 states uh, in the United States suing them. I think that it would probably push back these meme coins listings for now. Yes, I still think that Pepe will eventually get listed on Coinbase. No, I don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. Obviously, before I thought it was. I'm able to change my mind, guys, with the recent news that came out with the SEC suing Coinbase. So I still think a Coinbase listing for Pepe is inevitable, but I think the timeline is going to be pushed back a little bit more than we think. So big news for Pepe. The top five holder list has shifted as Qcoin and Crypto.com has slid in to the top five. They're available on pretty much every exchange. And I think that Pepe's time is going to come very, very soon before it takes off. Coinbase, not yet, but hopefully coming soon, guys. Let me know your thoughts here in the video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode.